Welcome to another Big Daddy D adventure. Today we got another project adventure. And here is my project and here is my problem. My problem is my driveway is on a slope. Doesn't look like a lot of slope, but there is a slope. I think it's about eight or 10 degrees. I'll, I'll look at the calcs a little bit later in the video. All right, so the problem was, if this is on a slope, then gravity wants to push this downhill. The problem was, I was burning out sliding motor, uh, the sliding drive motors. So, because it had an extra force going down, and then I could never set it, because, anyway, went back up. So what I did is I said, well, how do I counteract or counterbalance the gate? So what I did is I came up with a lot of different solutions, but this is the final one I came up with, and I made a counterweight. So the way this works is here's a cable right here, and the cable is attached to the gate right here. Goes up to a pulley, gets redirected, and then it gets redirected down here, and then comes up to the top, and then it goes up and down four times here with pulleys at the top and pulleys at the bottom. And uh, I got a counterweight. So as I open the gate, the counterweight moves up and it balances the weight of the gate. And then when I close the gate, the weight helps it go uphill. Figured I'd show that to you. A little bit of detail here. I just put a plate with some weights and I had a bolt sticking through it. I use standard weights that you use from the gym. And then up here at the top, I just made the steel frame and had some parts where I bolted on the pulleys here. So hopefully this helps. And uh, we'll show more details later in the video. But this was my solution to keep my motors from blowing out. Also, I switched to a Nice controller here. And uh, the good thing about the Nice controller was it had an acceleration and deceleration. The previous one I had only had an on and an off. And it didn't allow for that reaction time to move that big weight. Uh, I think this gate weighs around 600 pounds. Again, I'll confirm that later in the calcs when I share them with you. But hopefully this solution helps you. If you ever have a, a problem where you have a sliding gate on a slant, this is what I did to help that solution later take care bye bye so now here's the rest of the story so when i built the driveway i had it poured to match the grade of the land rather than pouring it to be level which i it, that's what i should have done <laughs> my problem is i didn't think at the time that it was going to be much of an impact uh, on my desire to have that rolling or sliding gate the impact is again gravity was pulling to open the gate uh, so the motor was going to have to work against it to close it and then the motor would be almost like trying to catch up to it as the as the gate was opening the impact is when i went to go set the turnaround force you know like if it goes bumping up to something it's supposed to turn around you know i could set it for closing but whenever i moved it to where i was opening well it was way overloaded like it basically was not stopping because the gate was pulling me down the hill so all that being said, I need to come up with a way to, you know, how am I going to solve this problem? So I guess the main thing is I needed something to make the gate behave if it was on a flat ground. So equal force to open and equal force to close. And then I also wanted the mechanism not to be any taller than my finch was around 65 inches. And then the gate travel, it had to go about 17 and a half feet. So what I did next is I tried to quantify the problem. Like, well, how much force is actually is gravity pulling the gate down the hill. So I uh, did a little force diagram with the gate and the weight and the angle and figured out that I had about 22 pounds of force of gravity helping it pull down the, down the hill. So now that I knew the force that I needed to counterbalance the gate, kind of helped me size the system. I wasn't really talking about a lot of weight. There was only 22 pounds of tension needed to pull the gate up. So then what I did as I came up with this pulley system where I wanted to keep the total height of my mechanism to about 65 inches. So I just said, okay, well, if I took about four and divided it into that, that number. So it was about four foot 
that gave me, if I if I can handle the pulley system in about four foot, then that gave me some leeway at the top and the bottom for the pulleys and then for the counterweight piece. So that's what I did here. So at this point, I just needed to sketch out what my mechanism needed to be. I knew I had a limit of 65 inches. I knew the weights would grow up and down within that four foot. And then I just uh, picked out some weights and figured it 12 inch by 12 inch would cover, uh, allow the weights to go up and down in that system. And the rest of it was just, uh, you know, cutting material, identifying the material. I chose to go with one inch square. It's probably overkill, but again, it's one of those uh, fabrication shop uh, stress tests. You know, I can step on it. At, that's more weight than uh, I'm going to have to use it for. So I didn't really, didn't really have to do any calculations on that stuff. So at that point, I just went ahead and built it. So I guess the main question is, would I change anything if I had to do it all again? I guess the main thing is next time, I'll make sure I get my driveway poured level. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about a counterweight. But from a mechanism standpoint, only thing I think I'd add, uh, and I'll, we'll probably add this in the future, is I'd go ahead and add a cover to it so that the counterweight mechanism is kind of protected from the elements. So I wanted to close this video with you actually getting to see the counterweight in motion. The way this system works is, as gravity is pulling the gate down, it is actually using that force to pull that weight up to the top. And when it gets all the way to the top, then it releases it as you close the gate. Well, thanks for coming on another adventure with me today. I enjoyed taking you with me as I solved my rolling gate on a slope driveway problem with a counterweight system, and then showing you how I got to my solution. I hope you enjoyed coming along this adventure, this project adventure with me, and hopefully learn something along the way. As usual, if you like what you just saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to go on more adventures with me, hit the subscribe button. As always, take care. Bye-bye.